what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? A pastor has began her 99-year sentence after she tried to exercise demons from a little boy's body by starving him to death and then trying to resurrect him. Articelli Meza held the child's limp body in her arms as worshipers looked on. She spoke loudly into a microphone, chanting words in Spanish as she stroked the child's hair and rubbed something on his forehead. The scene captured in a video was a ceremony to resurrect the lifeless two-year-old boy. He died after more than three weeks without food. Meza, a Dallas area pastor and self-proclaimed prophet, had claimed that God wanted the boy starved to get rid of demons inhabiting his body. The boy's parents were afraid to report Meza to the police or seek treatment for their son because they were illegal immigrants. Now, three years later, Meza is set to spend the rest of her life in prison for the child's death. Meza and her husband, Daniel, ran the church out of a brick home in Balch Springs, a suburb southeast of Dallas. Police began investigating after receiving a tip that congregants at the evangelical non-denominational church had held a failed resurrection ceremony before the parents took the boy to their native Mexico. That boy went 25 days without eating. Nobody had the presence of mind to step up and say, this is wrong. Man, many of innocent souls have been lost behind these superstitious religious convictions. It's crazy. The only persons who were possessed was the parents and the pastor. You know what would be real cool? When they catch up with the parents, they put the parents and the pastor in a cell and starve them to see if demons would come out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.